Hi everyone, welcome to Previsual Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can place and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So say goodbye to the never-ending revisions and instead spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed socks brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and patterns. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action, to give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mock-up of a quarter crew sock. I think this one is what we need. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mock-up, each with different design, materials, and environment settings you will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. So, let's continue. This is how our SOC 3D mockup looks like with its default settings. For a more convenient setup of our 3D mockup, let's disable the drop shadow for now. Let's zoom in the 3D model and take a closer look at it. Wow! Check how detailed the material is. The sock is made up of different parts and looks as detailed as a real one. This is amazing! Let's add the design to the sock. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. Let's add the branding to the mock-up, the one I told you about earlier. Amazing! The design embraces the shape of the 3D model. You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better and place your design more accurately. Excellent! Saving the design. Now I will show you how to set up the material of the design. You can change the material and select the one that works for you so that you could enhance the individuality of your brand. Let's check the fabric options. This one looks good. Moving on to the settings. Here we will reduce the visibility of the design map to change the color of the material. Now let's change the color. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually, like this. Now let's reduce the size of the fabric texture. Then we will decrease the reflections of the fabric to make it look more soft and natural. I love the result. Now let's complete the design setup and add new elements to the sock and the heel. Clicking again on the Add Design button at the Design Layers panel. Here we will add two simple elements so that they cover up the necessary part of the UV map. Then, let's change the color of the fabric on these parts of the sock. Now I'll show you how you can do it, but before that, let's save our design. Okay, we've added our design exactly where we wanted it to be. 
Let's set it up now. In the material settings, we will completely remove the visibility of the UV map. It will let us change the color of the material. We will select the most appropriate color to make our design look brighter. I like this color. Now let's tweak the material a little more. I think we should add some depth to the texture and also make the fabric softer. Wonderful. The client will definitely like it. One small step is left until we finalize the setup of our design. We only need to add some color to the inner part of the sock. Let's do it. Done. Turning the drop shadow back on. We can show our design to the client already at this stage. This absolutely deserves attention. If you need to set up the lighting for a more contrasting and bright delivery of your design, you can easily do it in the Environment Settings tab. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You can also change the color of the light sources effortlessly. I will slightly change the horizontal and vertical light sources to add volume to our 3D model. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill. Linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you, or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. You save your clients money by using ProVisual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it, posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like to work with ProVisual is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating sock design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.